Warning! This video contains loud background noise. Please do not wear headphones while watching this. Headphone users must not have their volume at max or too high. Enjoy! And we are so excited to go in there and see some cars. And I am also extremely excited to see my dream car, the blue Corvette, if they have a blue or what, any color works. Oh, well, yeah, we are. Yeah, really looking forward to it, Jack. Well, looking forward to seeing what, what's new with Ford, Chevy, and, and all the American uh, all, all American car brands. But also can we see everything as well. And it's just, just mostly to see what the show has for us this year. And we have Marty McFly here, I see. <laughs> yeah, because I did hear that they have a replica of a DeLorean time machine inside, so I so I got me got me my good when I get those follow ups. Exactly. Absolutely. And aside from what I'm looking forward to at the auto shows, aside from like, since I'm a Toyota fanatic, I love. I'm definitely looking forward to checking out the Toyotas, like all the Japanese car brands, literally everything, especially the new Mustang for this year. What are you looking forward to, Matthew? Just excited to see all the cars and see how it is. Yeah. Uh, oh, plus we're going on some test drives later later today too. Yes, we are. Oh, yes. Yeah, so. Well, without further ado, guys, shall we enter? Yes, yep. we shall. All right, Let's yeah. go. All right, bring it in, guys. Give me one, two, three, two, one, three, 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 three. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, guys. We are going to look for the Corvette. All right. Let's go, guys. Let's do it. Wow, they are, there are so many cool cars here. They're so shiny. Like they look like they're straight out of the factory. Right. It's yeah. just like it just came off the assembly line. Yeah, exactly. Right, Ron? <laughs> hey, Matthew, what do you think of this so far? I think it's really cool. Awesome. Yeah, this is really awesome. Man. Guys, this is like, it's like, it's like one of those things you have, you have to do these things every year. It's just really good. It's Agreed. just that good. Especially if you, you live in the Chicagoland area, this, this, this would be like the most highly recommended attractions to attend to every February. Amen to that, guys. Amen. Guys, I think, we, I think we know where the Corvette is. It's on the other side of the wall, right over there. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here's a lot of Tahoes and Suburbans right here. Well, without further ado, it's... And look, and what do we see? What do we see here, guys? Oh my gosh, it's the Corvette. And it's right. blue. This is... And there's three right here. So I knew that I knew they would have four. When we looked at the site, we thought it was red for a minute, but now, yeah. but actually, it's blue. It's blue. Yes. No, no, there's a red one. There's a red, red, gray. There's a gray and a red over there. Well, ignore the people, but but hey, at least Evan, this is Evan's dream car right yep. here. This is my dream car, guys, and this is why I'm hoping to get to once I earn a lot of money and once I have enough. This is my go-to car. we have the engine it is very very cool and to supercharge it's really it's really efficient and here you can just put anything you want it's a boot it's the engine and there's also if you look here guys there's also another one in the front we don't want to take the chances to open it look at how beautiful this thing is. i just i can imagine seeing this in my garage every single day such a beauty yeah. Want to wait in line so you can go get a chance to sit in it? Yeah, sounds good. All right. Well, what do you think? Well, I have to say, Matt, this car 
is just such a dream come true to me. Like when I just sit in here, I feel like I'm dreaming, but in real life, it's like a dream come true pretty much. Like I get like it's so beautiful, and like I feel like I can just be as free as I want in, in this thing. I just I feel so free when I'm in this vehicle. Sure, I absolutely agree. Like I can't wait to buy my dream car soon, which is the LC500, which you guys saw a while ago. But it's it's this is a good car too. It is. Most of the controls right here, and what's, yeah. what's interesting about these is that how a Mazda is able to use a joystick to go in park, reverse, neutral, drive, but in this, you have to pre press the paddle shift, and you have the controllers right here, too. Cool. And then here's just for lights. And yeah. And it's cool that they have, like, the OnStar right there, and also your hazard switch right there, you too. Yeah, the hazard switch is up here. And then that also has lane keeping assist, I think? Yeah, and also has SOS as well. And here's when you want to park, you press this button and then you go like that. You just push yeah. this, this direction. And then, yeah, this yeah. is how you reverse, then neutral and drive. But you can also do it with these too. Cool. So, really, really efficient. Cool. Love it. Awesome. All right. Um, well, I do have a few in mind actually. Go check out some Fords and find, find that DeLorean time machine. Let's do it. All right. Yes. All right. What do you want to do Boom. first? Boom. What do you want to do first, Jack? No. Or the time machine? I'd say do four first. Save yeah, the best for last. Sure. All right. Is this it, Jack? Are these your uh, kind of cars? Well, well, one of the few. Got the, we've got the new uh, 2024 Ford Ranger over here. It's a, it's a Lariat Sport Trim. With a, uh, with a, I think this is either a four. So I think this might have a V6 in it. Uh, I think it's uh, if it's got if the Raptor, which I think it's the one that's that it's got the, the V6. But the regular, it's got the four cylinder. Okay, not okay, not 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 really too bad. Not really too bad for for the all new Ranger. Bad at all. For the nice, nice truck for. This is just something else. It's like these leather seats feel great. Shifters a little different, but. But, but as long as I'm one of those like rotary or bud shifters, I'm not really a fan of those. It's just a standard shifter, right? Uh, well, it looks like it. It's like the one like you, like a console shifter, not yeah. like the rotary. It, is it like stick shift or no? No, all of these trucks are automatic. Um, they canceled all the Ranger manuals back in like 2011. Oh, okay. You want to sit in the back seat? And then, sure, and let's then, sit in the back. And then you can sit in the front seat? Sure. Does uh, someone want to? Does someone want to hold the camera for this? Uh, sure, I can. Right. Oh yeah, it has the normal uh, console shifter. Uh, yeah, normal console shifter. So the I love the ergonomics in here. Yeah, here we are inside of the Ford Ranger. 2024, baby. Jack, what what truck yeah. do you drive, Jack? Oh, uh, well, I currently drive a 2022 Ford F-150, which has a 3.5 twin turbo power boost engine. Hybrid so engine. It's, so it's a hybrid, yeah. It gets gets pretty decent gas mileage just for like a we're for a, for a standard size pickup truck with a V6. Mm, that's good. That's awesome. As for me, though, I I drive the Mazda CX-5. Yeah, it's a 2019, so it's it's already like pretty much like almost five years old. Yeah, I drive a uh, 2016 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition. It's four wheel drive. It has the 5.7 liter V8, and the reason why I'm looking at a looking at a 4Runner because that's my dream car, and I plan to have the truck and the 4Runner at the same time, and and then possibly like a cool sports car, or maybe or maybe just like a cool SUV or some sort, like just to drive efficiently. Well, great. All right. So we're gonna. So without further ado, boys, shall we? Shall we check out the Mustang and all that stuff? Yes. Yeah. yes. Let's do it. All right. We're entering the Ford section, guys. A little bit more deeper. Check it out, guys. There's the uh, there's the 2024 Mustang. A lot of Mustangs right here. So. This is a new model, right? Th here. This thing's no joke. It's like really 
like a retro rally car, that's for sure. Yeah. They really updated it from the previous generation. Yeah, this a much more of a sporty look than it than, than before. Yeah. GTD next year. Edition. Yeah. Next year they're gonna next year it's gonna I don't know if it's this year, but maybe next year it's gonna be their 60th anniversary for the Mustang. Oh yeah. Oh wow. You can only go so far up. I'm pretty sure they're forced to come up with something special for that. Oh yeah, that's for sure. All right. Because so when you're the, obsessed something with grills, like GTT or GTD, GTD, I think. Yeah, GTD. Yeah, GTD. Yeah, GTD. Yep. When you hear five overall, what do you think of this, Jack? I know you're a Ford fanatic. I know, I know you love American cars. What do you water. think of this one? Yo, if I were, yo, if I were, to, um, yo, like on my top list of uh, sports cars, everything um, that Ford Mustangs definitely on my list. Because it it, they still have the manual transmissions now. Yeah. Man, Not like it's with the two-liter engine, but I'm sure with American the V8. Right. Man, this is a good car overall. It really is. I mean, we're definitely getting a good, good, uh, good view of it while we're talking about it at the same time. It's just, real, it's just a really cool car, guys. You can't go wrong with a with a classic muscle car. More, more importantly, iconic. Mustang that was black. Yes. So, iconic. This I and, the next and futuristic. Oh yeah. Race yeah. Design. Iconic, track. futuristic. The official and, and same time giving it that Challenge. 60s vibe New since 1965. Yep. A pure Mustang experience. All right, boys. We're drivers. Shall we? Shall we check out a little more Mustangs? Then we'll go to Mazda. Yes. Do let's it. do it. And then later, gaming USA viewers, we're gonna go. We're gonna go on the Bronco test track right yep, over here. Right up there. A little later. A little later today. Yeah, so there's this King Ranch Expedition right there. There's a Ford Transit. Some cool stuff. At least you could get to see the uh, test track up close a little bit. The only thing, the only people I wish that are here, as far as race car, car drivers go, definitely Jeff Gordon and Lewis Hamilton. Right, guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Especially they were in the second Cars movie, and Jeff Gordon was in the third, third movie, so it was pretty pretty good one all right y'all now here it is drum roll please <laughs> I'm kidding anyway all right boys here we are Mazdas yes this these are the new CX 90s I think oh my gosh look how close they are to the, to the Corvettes they're just right across from each other oh yeah Literally. yeah here's the uh, Here's, oh yeah, it's the CX-50, there's a CX-90 on, the white one's a CX-90. CX-90? Yeah. Probably they, this is the CX-30 right here. Oh, and there's Evan's car right here, a CX-5. That's why you don't see a lot of people around the, around it, because they know the model, obviously. So this is the new version All right, y'all. What do you want to want to go ahead and sit in it? I know you've been in. I know. I know you've been in these cars, so you know what it's like. So this really doesn't feel any different. Sure. Except yeah. except the screen's a little. Sure, yeah, the screen's a little bit bigger, and also these are a little bit bigger too. Yeah. Overall, you love. There's not much to do with Mazda, you know. I mean. Yeah, there's not really much to do. That's why I really prefer the Corvette because it, it, it's very smooth. It drives really smooth. It's fast. It goes like. Mm. This is just good for like when you want to go on like short trips and you want to bring your friends to places. And you want to go autocrossing. Yeah. Which is like, you know, taking road trips in sports cars. Exactly. So, all right. All right now. So, a lot of, so yeah, there's not much with Mazda. So, hey Jack, on to the DeLorean time machine. Let's go. All right, Jack, where are we at? There it is. <gasps> the time machine. <laughs> wow. And we made a Gaming USA video about this like so many years ago. We did, yeah. Wow, would you look at that, Jack? Look at this, McFly, you found your car. Well, we found your, the car that you were looking this, this, this most heavy, heavy forward this to. Heavy duty, this is heavy duty right here. This, this is heavy. Yeah, let's take a, let's, let's take a picture of this. To protect the and mystique. Cool. From Back to the Future. Oh, look at this. Also, you can uh, also you can get these for your birthday parties, all that stuff. Oh, that's cool. So you want to try and sit inside of it, Jack? I'm gonna try. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, Jack, you look just like him. I do now. Okay. So when the camera's on you, okay. that's when you're going to do the shift, okay? Okay. Uh, okay. Seize this moment. Okay. The camera's on you. Okay. The camera's on me. Surrounded by the instruments of time. Jack's enjoying that DeLorean, isn't he? Yes, he is. With a purple gun. Or a video. And the man called your breath. With Well, Jack, what did you think? This was the got to be the most incredible experience ever today. Really. Awesome. I love it. Hey y'all! What's up everybody? We just What's went up, to go get some lunch because uh, we were just going to take a little break and also the camera was starting to overheat so we wanted to like cool down for a while. Yep. Alright y'all, so we're... What are, what are we about to do next, Jack? Uh, next, we're about to go explore the Toyotas. Yes! We're going to go explore Toyotas, my favorite. As you know me, I'm a Toyota fanatic, Jack. Yep, yeah, just like what we said that right at the beginning of the video. Yep. As far as the Toyota I'm going to show you guys is the, is the Toyota 4Runner, which is one of my favorite SUVs of all time. So, and plus we'll probably check out the Sienna too, since I love since I love the newer models with the hybrid engine. You ready for this, though, Jack? Let's do this. The whole crew? Yes. Oh yeah. Let's all right, right y'all. Let's let's go okay. on over. Alright y'all, so we're at the 2024 Toyota 4Runner, this is the TRD Pro model, it's a really good, this is like one of my favorite, favorite off-road SUVs of all time, it's uh, so alongside with the Toyota Supplier right there and a, and a Tundra also, but also personally I have a uh, 2016 Toyota Tundra 1794 edition, uh, four wheel drive with the 5.7 liter V8, and that thing is really good, I have it, it has almost 100,000 miles on it, so I uh, so I really love this truck, but if I had to choose a good all-around vehicle, I would definitely consider a good 4 right here, uh, but if I had had a collection, I would get I would keep my Tundra, a 4Runner, a Sienna, just for, some, just for some fun, just as a minivan, if I consider getting a minivan, and then uh, possibly maybe a RAV4 too, just to, just to have some good in between, so want to take a tour of this? Gaming USA? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. So yeah, I mean, that's true. You get a lot of models right here. My particular favorite is the limited trim, which gets leather and all that stuff. Because I'm not much of an off-roader, guys. But but this is like one of the nicest, nicest SUVs you'll ever buy to this day. And you're never ever gonna get one. This really it really looks really nice. Oh yeah. Want to want to take a look under the hood? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So under the hood of this, because my Tundra is a 5.7 liter V8 and it's flex fuel, this has the 4 liter V6 engine by the best reliable Toyota engines ever made, aside from the 5.7. You are, you're never going to get a, a 4Runner like this, that's that, that is this reliable. Because with next year's, since they're moving to the 4 cylinder, until they prove themselves that they that that their four cylinder is good, guess what, guys? If you're looking for reliability that will call, cause you little to no problems at all, or even no problems at all because it's a Toyota, what do you expect? This is your best bet. 
right here. This, this one, because if you're looking for a truck, but don't want to give up your SUVs, but also has reasonable gas mileage compared to the, compared to the Tundra, compared to the second generation Tundra, you probably, you're, you're probably better off with this one. And this is the best in class engine you're ever gonna get. So, aside from when I figure out all the engine specs, but for now, let's go ahead and go inside and check it out. Let's all right, guys. All right, all right, guys. You ready to go inside? Yeah. All right. All right. You two in the back seat. Evan in the front seat. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Wow. How you guys feel back there? Good. You feel good. Decent, decent light space back here. Nice trunk in the back. Alright guys, let's turn off the music so we don't get copyrighted. Yep. This is the best part. Yes. Well, the only reason why they removed the shift knob is for security purposes. So, you, up here you got these nice leather leather seats, heated. But, but the limited model, you'll get heated and ventilated seats. You get adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist. All the stuff that you expect in Toyotas nowadays. Plus you have your Entune system right here. With all the different options. There's your home with navigation. There's your map. All the different kind of kind of menus. All stuff plus this has Apple CarPlay and all that stuff. Nice center console right here. Beautiful. And check this out. I think this I think the window rolls on this one too. No, it does not. Oh, probably because for other reasons. Probably doesn't have enough battery power. Probably. So you can see all this. It's really one of the best, best SUVs all-around SUVs you're ever gonna get. I'm telling you guys right now, if you're looking for a good reliable SUV that has decent gas mileage but also kind of feels like a truck and also you can tow decent with these things and it's reliable, listen to me, get these 4Runners. You're, you, you won't regret it. Yeah, you don't know what you're missing. So, after this is done, we're gonna go on to Lexus and I'm gonna show you guys my dream car. Let's go Gaming USA. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, Gaming USA. Okay, so unfortunately we did not see that window go up and down for whatever reason because probably this doesn't have any power, but you can also do it from the switch up there or the buttons right here. So, easy, easy thing. So, checking out the cargo space in the 4Runner. Uh, unfortunately, guys, it's locked, so uh, <laughs> so it's all good. We'll, uh, I'll definitely, one of these days when I get a 4Runner, we'll definitely review it for sure. Oh, yes, so, definitely. Without further ado, guys, now that, now that we got this bit, let's go check out my dream car in the Lexus section. Yes. Shall we do it? Yes, we All shall right. do it. All right, boys, let's go. Yes, let's go. Okay, so before we before we uh, show you guys my dream car in the Lexus section, let's check out this this Toyota Tundra here to see where it's where it can talk. Yeah, it actually talks. Let's try it out, guys. All right. I guess. Uh... All right. All right. Uploading right. new personality. Well, hello, my name is Tom the Tundra. I'm a talking truck. How are you doing today? We're doing good, Tom. Right. How about doing yourself, good. Tom? Doing great, Cowboys. Got any questions on the Tundra? Uh, what kind of engine is it? Excellent question. Underneath that hood, I got a V6 twin turbo hybrid, 437 horsepower, 583 pound feet of torque. My max tone is 12,000 pounds, and I can get 24 on the highway. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Your eyes got really big. Yeah. Oh my god. And, yeah. bes yeah. and besides, man, I also have a Tundra myself, too. Well, that's pretty cool. Have you ever tried talking to it? No! I well, didn't. that's probably why it's not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? I have a 2016 1794, so... Uh, a 17... Oh, that's impressive. Do you know what those numbers count for? What's that? Do you know why yours is a 1794? Why is that? Well, I'm asking you. Do you know? Uh, I knew it was, I hear some stories on YouTube. Uh, there's this one YouTuber you might know, uh, Scotty Kilmer. He yes, tells sir. me, he tells me about like, you know, how, uh, about what, who conquered, uh, who conquered Texas first and back in 1794. I mean, some, some story like that. I don't know exactly why it's called that. Well, I'm take a log and sit by my fireside. I'm going to tell you the true story. Sure. All right. Let's hear it. Okay. Lay it on us, so, man. The 1794 is because the... Production vehicles are made at a cattle ranch that was founded in 1794. It is still an active cattle ranch in Texas. Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, that's where that's where the Tundras are made, right? Yes, sir. So is the Sequoia. 
Oh yeah, that is that mm. is true. They used to make the Sequoias back in Indiana now. Back in they Indiana. Did. Well, back in Indiana, but now they make it in Texas now, don't they? They do all because they're on the same chassis. Well, they used to also make the Tacoma in Texas, but they moved that down to Mexico. Oh yeah, that is true. Well obviously I know they make the Forerunners in Japan and all that stuff, so yeah. They do. That may be changing though. I've heard rumors. Yeah, I've heard some rumors about the new for Forerunner for next year. Stay tuned, that's all I can say. Sounds cool, man. Thank you. What's uh, your name back there? Oh, my name is Evan. Evan? You videotaped me, you didn't ask me for my permission. Oh, no. Oh, come on. It's for a YouTube video. Well, I would've been smiling the whole time. <laughs> 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 all right. Yeah, we can't see you, though. I can't see your face, so. So, yeah, that's yeah. good. I can see why it's a talking tundra, because of the camera yeah. and then the microphone. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can't see my face because you're inside me. But don't be creepy with it now, okay? We are a truck. Right? Alright. That's why I love I love my Tundra truck. I made some good use out of it. It's a great truck, top of line. Highest reliability, highest resale value. Oh yeah, that is true. My uh, mine has almost a hundred thousand miles on it and it's still going going good. Woo! Doggy, you've been driving that thing a long way. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bought it from I bought it from someone in Michigan and it was it was really good ever since. Well don't hold it against them, even though you're a Chicagoan. Right. Alright, um well we'll uh we'll leave you to it, man. Evan, it's been great talking to you and your cowboy friends. Yes, <laughs> yes, we, we are doing this for our YouTube channel called Gaming USA. That's the name of our channel. Gaming USA, I'm gonna check that one out. Awesome, um, please do. You guys have a great Thank day. You. Thank, yeah, you you Thank you too. Thank you, Tommy. Take it easy, Tommy. Take it easy, Tommy. Take it easy, Tommy. That's it. Awesome. Something you never see every day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something you don't see every day. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so, all right, guys. So now that we experienced the talking tundra, we had a good laugh with that guy. <laughs> we really so, did. He was awesome. Yeah, oh yeah. And plus, cool dude. Talking plus, Tom. plus, he's gonna check yeah. out. He's gonna check out our uh, check out our YouTube channel. That's, yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, that is actually really cool. So, all right, guys. Now that we checked out my favorite SUV, the Forerunner, and then we enjoyed the talking tundra. Want to go, ready to go to the Lexus sec section and check out my dream car, guys? Yes, yeah. let's All do right. it. All right, guys, let's hit Goodbye, it. Tom. Bye, Talking Tom. Bye, Talking Tom. Bye, talking Tom. All right, y'all, this is, this is it. This is the LC500. Well, ergonomics, the LCD display up right there. Nice, nice infotainment system and stuff, but if I were to get an LC, I would probably get the 2018 model because of price-wise and all that stuff because this, I am not paying that much, this much for a Lexus because it's best to be smart about money, right? Yes, agreed. Overall, good. You want to see the engine? Up? Want to see the engine? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's check it out. And then after this, then we'll go to Honda and then we'll go to Subaru. Sounds good. Alright guys, this is the best part about the LC500 is this engine, the 5 liter V8. You might think in like Mustangs that, that the name of that, of that engine, this is what I like to call this car, the Japanese Mustang. But it's like a supercar, so what do you expect? But it's very good, these are like one of the best sports cars you're ever going to get for your money. I can guarantee you that. Not only good sports cars, but they're very liable. Corvettes are good and all that stuff. That's Evan's dream car, and I respect that. But of course. as far as my opinion goes, I love these LC 500s. There's there's no question about it. So that's awesome. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump on over to Honda. So so let's go head on over. Let's do it. We're going to your kind of car, Matthew. Honda. Nice. Oh yes. I'm excited. Honda is probably a car that I would get in the future because it just seems like it's... I mean, again, I don't know much more about cars, but I know a little bit, just very little, and uh, it just seems like a car I'd probably get that has some features, you know? Yeah, it seems like a really great car with a lot of features, and de definitely these from today look awesome from this year. Yeah, it sure looks like it. Let's go check them out. All right. It's a pilot. You love Honda? So I mean, so this is the this is a 2024 Honda Pilot all-wheel drive Trail Sport. Yep. Price at fifty thousand one seventy-five. Wow, that's how much this costs. Jeez. Fifty thousand. Wow, this thing's pretty expensive, isn't it? Oh, you said it, Jack. It is. Fifty thousand. 
don't see why. Yeah, how does it feel though? Pretty good? Yeah, it feels pretty good. Yeah, check check this out though. It's got a wireless charging pad for your here. phone. Why don't we oh, go ahead? Hop that's inside. cool. Oh yeah, we can hop inside, yeah, sure. To be honest guys, even though I mean I love some Honda brands, but not a lot, but or not Honda model cars, but not a lot because because especially with uh, with repair costs, especially with these V6 engines, they have timing belts. Where with the where with the other models, they have timing chains. Like, with the difference between those is just, it's just mechanical things. Because I'm a technician, because I know how these things work uh, with engines and whatnot. Because especially when it comes time to replacing it, it's it is gonna cost you an arm and a leg to get a timing belt replaced. But with the timing chain, <laughs> you don't need to worry about it. Yeah. So, hmm. Yeah. This is really yeah, it cool. Makes sense. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. It's a nice, it's a nice pilot though. It's sweet. All right, boys. Oh, you can. whenever you're ready, man. Yep. Want to hit the, want to hit the Subaru? Uh, want to see if there's puppies there? Oh yeah. Yeah. So this is cool. It looks like they have a plane. Yeah. Honda. It says something about this. It says okay. Honda Jet Elite. You can actually go. Oh no, you can't enter it. I thought you could. Oh, this is where you store your bags right here. I can see that. That's why. That's probably why. That's really cool. And this thing actually flies. Mm -hmm. Not that I know of, but it's like kind of like that model jet. To be honest. Do not. Depend. Here's what it looks like inside. It's like a private jet initially. Yeah, pretty much. Essentially, I mean. yeah, yeah, probably like an air SUV, air limo. Look at the inside. Obviously, we can't enter because that, that is against the rules. Oh, there's the cockpit. Well, and look at the upholstery in here. Whoa. Look at all this. Yeah, you can see, see their own airplanes. Uh, I don't know if they're making their own airplanes, but they. But it looks like it. Now that we're done with the Honda Jet, as you hear, and the Honda section, guess where we're gonna go? Subaru. Yes. And then after that, then we're gonna go check out. We're gonna Jack and I are gonna review the Sienna a little later. A little later, but right now, the reason why we're going to Subaru, not only to check out some cars, but we're going to test drive one a little later today, and then, uh, and then, and then review the Sienna, and then, and then the reason why we're going to the Subaru is because they have puppies. Hopefully, we'll see. Hopefully, we can see little cute puppies there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Leif, if you're watching this video, you're missing out. Simulators. Aww. Puppies. Oh, they're so cute. This is really cool. Okay, Matt and Jack from Gaming USA. And we're now here to review the 2024 Toyota Sienna. This, particularly, this is a platinum trim. With leather and all that, this is probably the top of the line, I would imagine. Yeah, it looks like it is. Look, 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 how, sh look, look how like um, like shiny the wheels are. The interior, yeah. the leather. So I've I've sat in these before. I know I know what the layout is. Jack, why don't you go ahead and drop off in the driver's seat? You guys in the back seat. I'll be in the front. All right, sounds good. Cool. So they have this nice. Gauge cluster right here, you get it. Oh, they have a TV. Blu-ray Blu wow. entertainment system right here. No way, really? Yeah. I didn't even like that. Yeah. Why don't you try it, honestly? Copyright Isn't this great, Matthew? It is. Anyway, so you got oh, a yeah. nice gauge cluster right here. You get this nice uh, piano. I don't know. What, it's not piano black. Never mind. It's some this nice uh, wood trim right here. All nice padded dash. And nice padded center console. You have these nice, nice uh, reading lights right here. Nice console a, shifter as well. Yep. Electronic parking brake. Your different drive modes: EV mode, automatic brake hold. Oh, yeah. Your cup holders right here and up here. So you get and your wireless charger right here. And a nice and a nice dash too. Yeah. It looks like we looks like we also have an um, an, an electronic rear view mirror as well. So that's All great. Right, Jack, you want to pop the hood so we can show them the powertrain? Uh, yeah. And this is and this is this kind of thing like for future parents. If you're looking for a minivan, 
get a Sienna with the hybrid engine. They have tons of space. You can see Matthew has a ton of ton of leg space. You know, right, Matthew? Oh yeah, I can almost stretch. Or I can basically like stretch my leg. Can't open the hood. Uh, I think it's open. I just we're, we're just kind of like physically. Yeah. All right, guys, let's check out the power train. Cool. All right, let's do it. So underneath this hood is is a 2.5 liter hybrid engine with the CVT. I don't know the power specs of this. Power specs of this. I'll look into that a little later on my, on my own time. But it's a really nice powertrain by Toyota. Uh, my uh, one of my uncles has a Camry Hybrid, a 2021 model, and it drives so good. It drives really similar, but similar powertrain. This thing drives very similar, and it gets really good gas mileage. 35 miles per yeah, gallon. Pretty good for a minivan, not gonna lie. Yeah, like I have seems a, like it. Yeah, I have a, a 17 Sedona uh, that uh, that with a 3.3 liter V6. A, and a six-speed automatic, and that average is around like 27, 25 miles a gallon, miles a gallon. Which you probably, if I were to get a minivan, a minivan not only not only for future dads and also for the kids, your best bet is to get this, no question about it. And of course, I want to take my buddy. If I want to take all my buddies on a on a guys' day to the Chicago Auto Show or anywhere, really. Exactly, or especially any like long distance drives, like road trips. Like maybe to California, Los Angeles, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, a lot of places. We're definitely not going to New York though, because that is, driving up, driving there is crazy. But the point is, Manhattan. yep. Oh yeah. Well, and maybe trips up to Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, a lot of places, a lot of possibilities are endless in road trips. So this is the really great power trip. that powertrain you guys you got all all you guys out there all all the future dads future moms all that stuff if you're looking for a minivan get the sienna there's no question about it all right guys so without further ado we're gonna go down we're gonna go downstairs do some test drives well i'm gonna be doing some test drive evan's po possibly gonna do a test drive too yeah so we're gonna go probably test drive a subaru we'll see what models they have let's go yes let's do it let's go guys all right, guys, I'm in the 2024 Subaru Outback. What trim level is this? This one is a limited. Limited? All right. Overall, it's a great, great wagon SUV. I love these Outbacks. They're really nice. That's all the fun, guys. That's the auto auto. Start <laughs> stop again. <laughs> it's annoying the heck out of me. <laughs> you can turn it off, but you have to do yeah. it every time. And I know, I know these things have uh, the 2.5 liter boxer engines. They're really nice. Mm-hmm. Good engine in it. and it actually since it's a boxer engine yeah one of the one of the safety features is that in case of a front end collision well, I'm gonna stay to the far left right here yes sir okay uh, the engine breaks away and drops down and there's a track underneath us and that's where the engine right rolls back into okay so just keep going straight you're gonna keep going straight okay and you have a green light. awesome we're driving in downtown Chicago. Yep. This is a nice Subaru. Don't you guys agree? It is. Oh yeah. All right, stop right here. Mm -hmm. Man, a 2.5 liter boxer engine, guys. You guys can't beat it with a Subaru. No way. Yeah, no way, Jose. Whenever you get a chance, you can get to the left lane. Okay. I love the sound of the engine. Yeah. Is this electric? No, this is a uh, gas. Okay. We only have one electric, and you wouldn't be able to hear it at all. Yeah. yeah. Like, cause uh, uh, my dad has a Nero EV, and it's like this kind of oh, thing. Okay. You can hear the electric motor like, yeah, like yeah. that, <laughs> like that kind of electric motor. That's what electric motors make uh, sound, sound wise. They don't make sounds like this. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. an engine. So keep going straight. Yeah, keep going straight. We okay. normally would turn right here, but that's a backup right now. Yeah. So there's another median coming up right after So like this. we'll take a U-turn or something? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, that's right here. Okay. Right past the sun. So over here. So right here? Yep. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. And you're clear on the right. All right. Let's just take a stop because I love doing, I love stopping at stop signs because that's the law. Technically, that was not a stop, sir. <laughs> oh, you got me there. <laughs> Call that a California stop. <laughs> so stay to the right here. Yeah. I mean, I only been to LA once in my life for on a family vacation. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> Isn't this nice, guys? Yeah, it's great. It's just wait, wait till I turn 21, and then you can test drive like a Ford. <laughs> exactly. 
or any of these cars. I get a lot of these because I'm a Firestone technician, so I get, oh, okay, I get okay. a lot of these. Uh, I get a lot of these all the time. Oh, so, oh stay to yeah, the stay, stay right here. Stay right. Stay to the no, road. stay where you are. Okay. <laughs> Continue on the course. Cool. And then after this light, you're gonna get. A oh, where that bus is turning? Yeah. That makes sense. I was like, oh shoot, <laughs> where am I supposed to turn? <laughs> as soon as you cross this light, you see that bus lane. We're yeah. gonna get into there. Okay, that makes sense. And then at the, with the bus turn, that's where we're gonna turn. Yeah. Sometimes whenever I drive by myself, I'm so used to changing lanes and all that yeah. stuff. Hello everybody, we are now looking at the awesome mystery machine from Scooby-Doo. And we actually found it, and it says Zoinks! <laughs> it's like shit. Yeah, what check it says. Yep, yep. you can see a mannequin of Freddy in there. Yep, there's a mannequin of Freddy in there. And, 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 and a stuffed up Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Plus, what a nice, nice mystery machine. Nice love seat right here. Nice couch on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's walk all around it so we can just see our whole view. Nice sectional. It's a 1966 Ford Eco Line Van Scooby Doo Mystery Machine. Hey, it's By the way, guys, for Gaming USA subscribers, check out the check out the Scooby Doo video that him and his dad, Devin and his dad did. Oh yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah. Yep. There's the view of it right there. So check check that out right there. For for a dog, you can literally eat anything and everything. And literally, and you can drive. Yeah. That too. All right, y'all. We're gonna go check out some supercars. All right, guys. Let's go. Let's go. And here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the supercar gallery. A lot of Lamborghinis, McLarens, uh, some uh, Bentleys over there. Uh, what else? Some uh, Rolls Royces. I think those are some Porsches right there. You really, if you ever want to go see some supercars here at the auto show, but you can't really sit inside of them, at least you can see them, see them from right here. There's, you can't really beat it. You just got to be careful. That's true. Because the thing is, thing is with these supercars they are very expensive y'all you do not want to even get a single scratch on this yeah like not a single scratch on these vessels yep without further ado guys we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with with the uh, bronco test track yes hey guys we are on the final time of the day wow how long how many hours have we even been here Oh, so we've been here since 10.30, so I would say, and it's almost 4 o'clock, so like five and a half hours. Yeah, that that is crazy. This has been the best experience of my life, and we are going to do one more thing before we close out today. Well, what are we doing today? We are going on the Bronco. The, Bronco. the Ford Bronco uh, off-road track, per se. And I'll film, so that way you guys can have the experience. Yeah, and plus it'll be on the phone, so yep. it's going to be a fun experience. Let's get in line before we waste any more time. And Best way to close out the day is to go on the Bronco test track. Let's yes. go. Let's go. It's amazing how they don't tow. All right, guys, we will be boarding soon. This is it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, my God, this is the moment. Are you going to record while well, uh, we're actually on this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Our friend Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice All right. All right. Here we go. All right, guys. We're on, the, we're on the test track. Here we go. Going off to yeah. the side. Yeah. 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 Nice. Right? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. It is. Good yeah. thing you're in the really middle, fun. Matthew. Yeah, it is pretty That's awesome. Like I probably there. would. Talk yeah. Yeah. For that. Probably if we were to put someone in the middle. So we're actually there. out here with the Bronco off rodeo. We are doing a sweepstakes for a half day of off-roading for four people in either Texas, Nevada, New Hampshire, or Moab. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Ride, you can enter to win that if you'd like. Sure. Sure. 
really, really awesome. And you guys actually do it outdoors? Yeah, that will be a full trail. That's cool. Oh! Yeah! Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> so you're sitting in the Bronco Badlands Sasquatch package four door soft top. And okay. we also have the big tech package on this one, and that gives you this big screen with a bunch of different camera views. Sure. So you have that front view camera on here. You will have a wide angle front, a 360 okay. view. <laughs> oh, cool. You have 360. Oh, wow. So oh, wheel view? Yeah, those are my front two tires. Oh, you guys see this? Look at yeah, this. It's no. a wheel and view it's camera. mounted out on the edge of the mirror. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. awesome. Oh. I didn't think the Bronco would have that. It's a 360 right? degree camera. Well, that's why we keep our mirrors on the car. They're body mounted instead of door mounted. So you can like still have your... Yeah, right. So if you take your doors off, they're still on there. Yeah. But now we can keep our mirrors on the car even with the doors off. Right. And that is so helpful when it comes to all these cameras. If you have yeah. a camera package or even if you're just out driving and you switch door to one of those doors, there's just bars. Oh, there's Ron. Yep, yep. Oh! oh. That's very cool. Right? Very good technology. This is 2024, right? I believe Model? so. Model? Okay. I believe so. That's cool. All right, down we go. Here we go. All right. Slow anyways. Whoa. All right. It's a little whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! 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 Class. Wow. Oh wow. Like two weekends ago. Huh. So he literally went from the race over here, dropped it off. And yeah, no, it's super cool. Oh, there's Ron over there. Super oh. cool thing about the Broncos is that all our body panels are bolt on, bolt off. Right. So if you do damage anything, you can just replace the body panel itself instead of having to go to the body shop and get a bunch of metal work done. Right. It'll honestly save so much work for the mechanic and time for the mechanic as well as money in your wallet. True that. Wow. Yeah, true, yeah, true that. Oh it's wow. So convenient. I love it. That is very convenient. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Sarah. You're welcome. This is my first time at an auto show, so I haven't Perfect. had the experience. Oh, well, I'm yeah. glad you came the out for it. The reason why we got him in the front seat, because he was in the front seat last year. Ah. We wanted to get the yeah, I wanted to get the yeah. experience for uh, YouTube channel. Too. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, another cool feature I love on these is these little dots. They're called breadcrumbs. So you can activate that, and it'll start leaving them out for you, so you can find your way back from a trail or save it for later. No more getting lost in the desert. I might have tried that once or twice, and that sucks. Ooh. So oh. <laughs> this is the oh, best no. thing ever. I love it. Wow. I will never get lost again. <laughs> well, that's so helpful. Guide you back into the trail. Huh? So those red dots will guide you back to the trail. Exactly. Or guide you back wherever you came from, basically. So if you're going off road, you have no maps, you have no street names, you know. Um, yeah. So just leave them out for you. We had a good time, didn't we? Good. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Yeah, we're very sorry to hear about that, Sarah. <laughs> You also have your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto on here. You have a bunch of different awesome. settings. One cool thing too is zone lighting. Ooh. So I put it in park real quick and I think it's gonna do it for me. There we go. So zone lighting is, use these lights to turn off the fall. Oh, I gotta have my lights on for that. There, so I'll push that front and it'll light up the front. Oh wow. If I push the rear, it'll light up the rear. If wow. I press the side, my side Whoa, mirror, see side. how bright that was? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that. oh wow. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's so it's kind of a little bit. But, uh, yeah, the left one too. That's the same thing. So like the tree there, no, where, 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 does, where does it show? Yeah, a little yep, bit. I see it. It's not a lot. But if the room was pitch black, yes. we could definitely see it. So if you're out camping or anything like that, so yeah. convenient. Man. Yeah, it is. Just load in, load out when it's dark out. And all our aux cords up here too, they're pre-wired. So if you get a light bar, a winch, or anything aftermarket put on the car, you can just hook it up and you're good to go. That is awesome. Yeah. If I were to get an off-road yeah. vehicle, I would get this. Me too. Yeah. Um, Me too, cool yeah. That all that I and the really floor. love about these is you can get marine grade interior on them as well. So if you get a bunch of dirt on there or just messy friends or family, you can spray it all out. 
hose it all out, all the dirt and everything, and you'll have drain plugs in the floor for it to drain. So basically be like a little land yacht. It's oh. awesome. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Well, I'll, I'll probably have this and a forerunner too. Right? I mean, forerunners are fun too. I like those. Yeah, but, I like those but a lot. nothing yeah. is better off road capability than this. No, at this moment in time, no. Absolutely not. But it's awesome though that the Bronco did come out with all this new stuff and new technology because then all the other brands are going to be forced to try that out as well and get better too. Some brands haven't had to get better. They've just been good as they are. And then now the Bronco is challenging everybody to get better, which is awesome. Wow, that is yeah. amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, very nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice Hope to see you soon. You too. Have an awesome day, okay? Yeah, you too. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Thank, thank you. you. Well, guys, we have done it. Well, yeah, we time has come. Until next time, up Chicago Auto Show for 2025. Yes, I'm great to see you. This has been great. It's been my first, it's my first time, and I really enjoyed this experience, and I cannot wait to do it again. Yeah, definitely check out uh, Evan's Instagram because we're gonna post this. We're gonna make this a good post. It's gonna be awesome. Please do that, and then, uh, and then of course. We all had a great time, guys. We sure did. Yeah, we had one heck of a journey today. Oh, yeah, yeah. we did. Yeah, give really me fun. Like, I know yeah, these two have been with me last year. Just tell me, Evan, what was your favorite part? My favorite part, jeez, everything was so great. But I have to say, my favorite part would have to be is when we saw the Corvette because that's my dream car. And that's the car I'm going to awesome. All right, y'all. All right, guys. So we're about ready to end it off here, and we're ready to get home with some much well-deserved R&R. &R. Yes. Oh, yeah. So. Good reward. So. All right, guys. Till next time, Game Mean USA. Yes. Peace yeah. out, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, out. like this video, and comment down below for more content. Yeah, and definitely let us know what your dream car is. Yes. Please let us know in the comments. All right. All right. Let that be a question of the day. Yeah. Yeah. See you later, Gaming USA. Peace, Peace out, gamers. Bye. Peace out, gamers.